how's it going? Well, to go further into my video about our creative flow, one of the problems is something that uh, some others in comments had brought up that I've talked about before, and that's how much it costs to make movies now. Okay, The cost to make movies should be far lower than it's ever been, but the Hollywood movies that get put out cost more than they've ever cost, which doesn't really make much sense. Some of what causes this is the Motion Picture Association of America. Now, I've said that, you know, we should, we should sort of abolish it or, you know, you can't really do that on a government level, but, you know, there, there should be something, we should be able to, to boycott the Motion Picture Association of America. There's some of the reasons why theaters have to, you know, release movies the way that they do. It's the reason why there have to be so many people involved in making a movie and why they have to be paid a certain amount and all this sort of stuff. It's, it's the standardization of the way movies are made. That is why movies cost so much to make. If you had some little bitty team that didn't have to follow any of those rules, they could put out a... You, you, there could be a movie with a $10,000 budget, and it would be awesome. But that's not allowed because of the Motion Picture Association of America. To me, it would be nice if there was a theater at some point that said, well, no, uh, we, we don't want to show any movies that are... Uh, that have to come to the whole Motion Picture Association of America. You know, we want to just show independent films, ones that, you know, aren't part of the MPAA. And I, I think that would be great. Imagine a theater that all they show are things that people upload them, upload to them, uh, you know, in this digital world, and you know, there are some things that would be flops, and there are some things that would, uh, that would make some money. And some of the money actually would get to the, uh, the people who made it. And, I don't know, this would open up a, an opportunity for independent filmmakers that we've never had before. But that sort of thing isn't being pushed anywhere. I've never heard of a theater doing that sort of thing, but I think it would be cool if there was a theater that did. Like, how about a movie theater that has, you know, the digital projectors and all that sort of thing? They have everything set up, but um, they didn't make it. Or they, it was, you know, one that uh, didn't make as much money as some of the others, so they were going to close it down. Well, then have someone else buy up that theater and do exactly what I'm saying here with that theater. You know, don't show any of the movies that were... Uh, that came to the standards of the Motion Picture Association of America. Heck, it could even be uh, you pay to watch someone rant about something, you know. Uh, but it would be something that would allow independent filmmakers or just independent, uh, if they're not even considered filmmakers, just allow those that are independent to have a say on the big screen. I think that would be fucking awesome. And, you know, that something like that, if that were to come out, that could pretty much kick the, uh, the Motion Picture Association of America uh, in the ass and make them realize, well, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> you know, to, to me, the MPAA is why movies are in the state that they're in. There needs to be something to to loosen this, this tight grip that they have on our movies. Anyway. Ooh.